Hello world, Becca here from Inside the Square. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you some really cool hover effects for images on your Squarespace website. They're pretty quick, but I've got a couple of fun ones, so we'll just get right into it today. I'm going to select Design and then Custom CSS. This is where I'll be putting my code. So the first one we're going to start with is turning images into a grayscale filter when I hover over it. So grayscale means uh, kind of exactly what it sounds like. It makes the image black and white. <laughs> so I've got a full color image right here. And you'll see when I hover over, it transitions to grayscale. Now let's say you want to reverse that. You want to start with a grayscale image and have it go full color when someone hovers over. Copy and paste the code beneath this video. And you'll see now we've got a grayscale image, but wait. Oh, it's full color now. Pretty cool, right? Awesome. Let's say you want to uh, blur an image on a hover. This code is also beneath the video. Copy and paste it right there. And now when I hover over the image, it kind of zooms out a little bit. It gives me an interesting blurred effect. Uh, this one, I've got another one beneath the video called inverting the image. This filter is a little freaky deaky one. You hover over it and wow, it inverts all the colors and looks super crazy. So uh, definitely play around with that one. And then one last code for your CSS today is to make the image a little bit lighter, adjusting the opacity. And then when I hover over it, it brightens the image. Okay, so you've got quite a few options. This is the image opacity. We also have an invert colors code. There we go. We also have a blur the image code. Looks like that. We have the code for starting in grayscale and then moving to full color when I hover over the image. All righty. And then the first one we started with was making the image grayscale when I hover over it with my mouse. So there you have it. Every single one of these codes is beneath the video and labeled for you. So grab it, copy and paste it into the custom CSS of your website. And the most important part, my friends, don't forget to select save. That's it for today. Be sure to follow me here on YouTube for a tutorial every Tuesday if you want to learn some more cool tricks like this one. Have fun customizing your Squarespace website. If you liked this tutorial, you'll love my CSS cheat sheet. Copy and paste your way to a cooler website. Download it now at insidethesquare.co slash CSS.